extremely politically incorrect in this uh, review so if you have a problem with stereotypes you might want to you know not watch this um, yeah so here's me and if you don't know what's going on you have no freaking clue and I'm gonna have to explain some things to you the beautiful people at Toman hate me I must have done something wrong I must have insulted them, done bad demos, not sold enough guitars through my videos or something. You know, we have a symbiotic relationship and now they freaking hate me. Because my good friend Stefan Weitzel from Thoman, hi Stefan, <laughs> asked me to do a review, please really fast, um, of the Cork Miko Stomp, which we're doing. And he asked me, hey, please wear the wig. That's just great, Stefan, that's just perfect. So they are you go. Um, I'm trying to be, I, I'm not wearing the skirt, okay, there's no skirt, this is jeans, but um, I'm, I, I tried to get into the Hatsune Miku ha! um, character, which I'm going to tell you in a minute about. So um, she wears this thing that I can't, I don't have a lady's 
shirt. Uh, so, um, and then she has like nothing on her arms and then these black things. So where do you get them? I actually made these. I went to my mom's house, I broke in, or I have a key, and uh, used her sewing machine and I actually made these and then I used duct tape to put them on my arms. So this is true indication to pedal nerdness. I rolled over things here. So this gets stuck everywhere, by the way. So Hatsune Miku. Hatsune Miku is a uh, character from Japan who, um, Hatsune Miku is actually voiced by Saki Fujita. And if, you're on, if you want to see the ultimate demo of this thing, please watch Rob Chapman and the Captain. They already have like 888,000 views on, um, wait a second, um, on YouTube. It's crazy. They're cool. They're doing the funniest review ever. This is nothing. Um, in Japan, let me tell you, there's this, <laughs> there's this thing going on called Vocalo called Vocaloids. That's better. No, it's not. And um, which is pretty much anime characters being projected on stage on big screens. There's a live band playing, but the actual vocalists, the artists, are made up characters. And in the studio, they're using uh, vocoders to create like a fake kind of language uh, called J-pop or for J-pop. Jap Japanese pop, and there are, uh, there's ten thousands of people storming into stadiums to see anime characters being the artists. So we've been completely replaced. Um, a vocoder takes a word, takes a carrier signal like a guitar, a synthesizer, whatever, and then takes kind of that frequency response of that word and puts it onto that carrier signal. And then that carrier signal will sound like a guitar or a um, a synthesizer, but it sounds as if it's saying words. And the uh, lady who did it in Japan, who actually recorded the original words, is called Saki Fujita. Um, I have to say it this way because it's Japan, okay? It's a Hatori Miko, and that's Saki Fujita. You have to like, Pah! and um, the Japs are freaking crazy. I mean, we love them because they've given us PlayStation, which makes nerds into even bigger nerds. They've given us, uh, you know, Big screen TVs, and, and uh, for those of you who like sushi, sushi! They've given us big and cool cars. Japanese have created cool things. They are also freaking nuts, because you can actually get girls used underwear at vending machines. So I'm not saying, as a stereotype, every Japanese person gets, you know, used underwear at a vending machine. Um, that's exactly like saying uh, every German knows how to yodel which is not true. Only 95% of us actually have to take the mandatory seven-year class of yodeling lessons. Um, so there's 5% of us who don't yodel. There's probably 5% of Japanese who don't get the underwear. You know what I'm trying to say. They're freaks. So um, they go to these concerts where they see these fake, char fake characters, like uh, Hatsune Miku. So now they've actually given us the ability to play Hatsune Miku in a guitar pedal called the Miku Stump. Uh, it is pretty much playing phrases, and um, every time you hit the, the string, it's going to the next word, and you can actually, on the pedal, pick which words she's singing. Um, Chappers had a lot of fun doing it wrong, <laughs> like, you know, playing chords, which it can't. It's a solo kind of a thing. It's a single note pedal, and it tracks really poorly. So, um, if you play fast... Does the... Setup really matter. I mean, I'm going into a Mesa Boogie Mark V, which sounds like this, into a speaker. It's it's, it's a real guitar cab, everything mic'd. Um, <laughs> fuck. So it's not tracking right. It's fast chords. Let's play some. So it's clearly not made for this. The latency, which means the time between when you hit the string and the tone comes, is quite severe. That means you really have to learn how to play with it, which I didn't. I just recorded the track that you heard uh, 10 minutes after I opened the pedal. So if you get used to doing this, um, you play a little bit ahead of the beat. <laughs> So if, you, if I hit this G repeatedly, you see that there's different uh, words going on because right here I'm on random, so it's taking the words randomly in, in succession. So 
So, there you go. Da, 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 da. What it does incredibly well is bendings. So, vibrato and bends. Da, 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 da. But you definitely have to adjust your playing style for reasons that we don't know, because why would you possibly want this? No. Actually, uh, in the metal part of the track earlier, I think uh, if you're crazy and you want to have people go, WHAT THE FUCK?! This is kind of cool. So this is doing the randomness. Let's do another random. Actually, can you hear? There's a little bit of reverb on it. I didn't add that. That is actually uh, built in. I'm doing, I'm doing double stops. That doesn't work. I'm just playing normally, which you can't. It clearly sounds like single chord. You can hear this. You could probably play this with the suckiest guitar because... Oh, suck Vegeta! Oh! Um, because, you know, you don't hear the guitar. But this is clearly a single chord type of sound, isn't it? If you play slowly, get a little bit ahead of the beat, you can get some cool stuff. Let me add some tape delay. <laughs> random what comes out because you know it says random so let's go less random we go on scat now we're on the low I think it switched to the low automatically. Yeah, we were on scat, but it switched to the low. I don't know why. Now we're on the low, which is a little bit more subtle. Which is possibly very, very usable. I'd like to know what that sounds like if we go through distortion. Hmm. La is probably more open. Now we're on, I can't even see this. What does it say? Ah! That's just a saw wave right there. That's kind of new. And now we're on pa. Nian, I don't know what that means. Nian, Niana, from Sakavachita doing Hatsunamiko. Nian, it's Nian. Sounds like Nian, Nian, Nian. Actually, according to uh, the captain, this is a big seller in Japan. Go figure. Question is, usually when I do a review like this, I want to keep the pedal. That's kind of the idea. So if Toman gives me this and say, hey, do a cool review, you know what? Screw Toman, I need something for it. I already spent money on the wig. Do I want to keep this pedal? You decide, you write under this demo, should I keep the pedal, yes or no? <laughs> the phrases are the coolest ones because they, it's combining the different vowels or words into sentences. And they 
as she farted. Next sentence. To me, that sounds like Chinese opera. So actually, it, it, it's kind of intriguing. It's, it's, I don't know what I would use it for, but it's kind of neat somehow. If you use that in a show, especially if you like doom metal or goth metal or anime metal, who knows? Um, Using this once as an effect for people to go, what the fuck? Is that Hatsune Miku? Wow! Um, that's what the audience in Germany would say. Is that Hatsune Miku? Wow! Hatsune Miku! Wow! Sucker for Gina! Um, that would be really cool. I think. If you're, you know, that kind of person that think that's cool. <laughs> Say poppycock? Poppycock, book, back, book, back. It said poppycock. Ichiba? Poppycock, there it is. She's saying poppycock. If you want to have some crazy fun, I can't say I don't recommend it. I'm going to give you my two cents right now. Come on. So, I can't say I don't recommend this, because it is kind of fun, and if you're into something totally crazy for your live show, um, this could be cool. Uh, you need the wig, of course. I can make these for you, very, very expensive. Um, it is so special that saying, don't get this, this crap, is stupid. If you're looking for something totally out there, it's, it's 139 euro, yes, and it's a very special kind of a UC kind of pedal. Um, but you'd have some fun with it, and uh, it's unpredictable, and if you, you have to get used to playing it. You definitely have to get used to how it reacts and all this. But, um... Can't say if, 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 you know, get this or don't get it. You decide. I'm having kind of fun with it. Mm, don't know if I'd ever use it on anything. The funny thing is, which I noticed earlier, if I take the hair off, check out what happens with the outfit I have on. I look like I'm in, in, into S&M. Wait, this is, gonna, this is really funny. Wait. Come on. Come on, this is... All of a sudden, it turned very sexual. Sexual. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Gork. Miku Stomp, you decide, I cannot help you. See you guys on the Flippity Flop, maybe in Japan. Never been there, really want to go. Maybe Cork invites me after this amazing review. Who knows? See ya. <laughs>